Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. Okay, so let's take a look at how to build a brand new project in Xcode without storyboards. So for, for the first thing, let's fire up Xcode and let's go and create a brand new project. So let's go file new project, or if you like shortcut keys, you can go shift command N. So I'm gonna do that now. Shift command N. We'll bring up this screen to create new project. I'm just gonna resize this. And what we're almost always gonna to wanna to do in this course is create a brand new single view app. So let's go ahead and select that. Make sure none of these things down here are selected. We're gonna do core data later along with unit tests. But for now, let's just give this a name. I'm gonna call this Weatherly 2 because I've already been working on a Weatherly 1. But you can feel free just to call it Weatherly. And go ahead and click Next. And this will ask us where we'd like to save it. I'm just gonna save it on the desktop. And basically now we have a brand new single view app ready to go. It's got a storyboard out of the box. And if we run this right now, you'll see that we get just a plain old app in the simulator ready to go. Now in order to get rid of the storyboard and convert this into a programmatically created project, there's just a couple of things we need to do. First, let's go ahead and just delete the storyboard. So go find your storyboard, go command delete, and go ahead and move that to the trash. And then the other file we don't need is this scene delegate. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this, move that to the trash. And from there, all we've got now is our app delegate, which we want, our view controller, our assets. We're gonna keep this launch screen around even though it's a storyboard, let's keep that one. And there's just two other entries we need to get rid of in our info P list, which actually tell our project to launch with the storyboard. So first we're gonna go in there and look for an entry called main storyboard file base name. Should be down about a th two thirds of the way down. Click that minus sign just to get rid of that entry. And then we can also get rid of the application scene manifest. Go ahead and get rid of that. So we've deleted some files. We've made some plist entries. Now we just need to go into the app delegate and tell our app how we would like to want launch it. And this is where we're gonna point it to a very specific view controller, specifically this one. First off, go ahead and delete everything you see there. We can always add these back later if we need them, but for now, we're just gonna ignore them. And here I'm gonna show you a really cool technique that really helps improve productivity. This is called a code snippet. You can access them by hitting this plus sign here on the upper right hand corner. And this will give you a list of pre-built code snippets that are already in Xcode. So if you couldn't remember how to do a for statement, you could go ahead and double click that and it would give you one there. And there's a whole bunch in there and I encourage you to go ahead and explore them. Uh, what I really wanna show you though is how you can create your own code snippets, which are really handy for accessing bits of code that you'd rather not memorize, but sometimes you wanna have really readily available at your fingertips. So for me, I've created a code snippet called No Storyboards, and it just looks like this. It basically gives me the code to grab a window, make it key invisible, set some background color, and then specify in the root view controller what view controller I would like to launch when I run the app. And that's really it. That's all there is to removing the storyboards and running the project. If I go Command R or hit the play button, I can now run this and I have a fully versed, fully ready to go project without storyboards. So really, really cool. The way you can create these code snippets is you can highlight the code that you'd like to create a code snippet around, right click, and then go create code snippet. And that will pop up this dialog with a little entry here where you can give it a name, just click done, and now whenever you'd like to access that code snippet, simply delete what you've got, come back up here, find your code snippet, and drop it in. So really cool. I use it a lot of times for stuff exactly like this. I've also got another one for no storyboards in a nav bar, because sometimes my design, I wanna see what it's gonna look like uh, embedded in a navigation controller. Really cool, simple way of doing it. I've got a code snippet here that looks exactly like the previous one we see with the windows and everything, only now, instead of putting my view controller directly in the root, I first embed it in a navigation controller. And if I run that now, I will now see my view controller 
with a nice little nav bar at the top here and I can continue developing from there. Okay, so there you have it. How to create a project with no storyboards. Super handy for spiking new apps. Expect no storyboards if you're working with larger teams. And it's what larger companies like Spotify, Amazon, and Facebook use when building apps. Okay, thanks for coming everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.